family. And within the last hour and a half, we learned the wildlife officials did kill the mountain lion that attacked that little boy. How did they know they had the right animal? Well, tonight, Denver 7 reporter Russell Haythorn has been looking into that process. Russell? Yeah, and it was DNA evidence sent up to the Wyoming Game and Fish Laboratory, and that linked the lion to the boy. The boy is now here tonight at Children's Hospital. His family saying today in a brief statement, he is doing better. Here's a photo from the Aspen Times of one of the lions killed by wildlife officials. We have to remove animals that are going to injure people. Um, whether or not people like it, it's appropriate. Jennifer Churchill with Colorado Parks and Wildlife says officers took down two lions in this general area near Aspen where the boy was attacked. A uh, police officer and forest service ranger who arrived on scene first uh, killed a lion on scene and then we uh, were investigating the area 2 a.m. that night we found another lion about 600 yards from where the attack happened and we removed that lion as well. The lions were taken to a lab in Fort Collins for necropsies where lab workers determined the lions were not diseased and did not have rabies or the plague. Samples can be taken for testing for infectious agents, viruses, bacteria. Dr. Gary Mason of CSU says in cases like this, pathologists connect the lion to the victim. DNA evidence would be the thing. Um, so that would be a swab between the teeth um, of the claws. Churchill praised the mother who reportedly pried the lion's jaws open to save her son before he was airlifted here to Children's Hospital in Denver. She did everything right. Um, you know, no one expects anything like this to ever happen. And then, until that happens to you, you don't know how you're going to respond. Interestingly, officials say those two lions were only seven to nine months old and likely lost their mother in a separate incident recently. Officials say it's unlikely these two young lions would have survived in the wild on their own. Live at Children's, Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.